Welcome to Sci-Fi Insights. In today's video, we'll be exploring the curious and complex human tendency to justify our own shortcomings. As humans, we all make mistakes. We let people down. We act selfishly. We behave rudely or thoughtlessly. But something interesting happens when we mess up. Rather than taking responsibility, we start coming up with excuses. We rationalize. We justify our mistakes rather than owning up to them. Why do we do this? What's behind this very human habit of justifying our shortcomings? As we'll see today, there are some fascinating psychological and sociological factors at play. Understanding why we behave this way gives us power. When we recognize our own tendencies to justify and make excuses, we can catch ourselves doing it and start to change. So let's dive in and shed some light on this common but complicated human behavior. To start unraveling this tendency, let's look at some of the key psychological biases and phenomena that drive it. First up is self-serving bias. Human beings have a natural tendency to see themselves in a positive light. We instinctively try to protect our self-esteem. When we make a mistake, our self-serving bias kicks in. Rather than taking a hit to our ego by admitting failure, we make excuses instead. Another key factor is rationalization. Humans are excellent at using logical-sounding reasons to justify irrational or questionable behavior. We're so good at rationalizing that we can even fool ourselves with our own excuses. For example, imagine a student who fails an exam. Rather than admitting they didn't study enough, they rationalize, well, I was really busy with other classes that week, and the professor didn't cover half the material on the test. Their excuse sounds reasonable, protecting their ego. But the reality is they still failed to prepare properly. Cognitive dissonance also plays a role. This refers to the discomfort we feel when holding two contradictory ideas or beliefs. To reduce dissonance, we alter our thinking, often through rationalization. If we do something we know is wrong, justifying our actions relieves that psychological discomfort. So in summary, self-serving bias, rationalization, and cognitive dissonance all help explain our tendency to justify failures or shortcomings, rather than owning up to them. But psychology is only part of the picture. Humans are also social creatures. The groups and cultural norms we belong to also sway our thinking and behavior in powerful ways. Two sociological phenomena are especially relevant, conformity and groupthink. Conformity refers to the act of matching our attitudes and behavior to group norms in order to fit in. Because being excluded is deeply painful, we are strongly compelled to conform, even if it means engaging in questionable acts. Imagine a manager at a firm that promotes aggressive, cutthroat tactics. They may personally feel this approach is unethical, but to conform to the firm's norms, they justify their harsh behavior rather than rocking the boat. Groupthink is another sociological force. When a group strives too much for harmony, real discussion gets suppressed. Instead, rationalization takes over as members justify decisions to remain united. This leads to poor outcomes as dissenting voices get silenced. So the innate human desires to belong and bond powerfully shape our thinking. We find ways to justify behavior rather than standing out or causing conflict within our groups. Given the various psychological and sociological drivers, it's no wonder humans are so prone to justifying our shortcomings. But this behavior, although natural, can have serious consequences worth highlighting. First, it leads to repeating mistakes. If we always rationalize our failures, we never learn from them. This traps us in cycles of problematic behaviors that are hard to change. Justifying shortcomings also harms relationships. Friends and family can start to feel hurt and betrayed when we constantly make excuses rather than taking real responsibility. Trust erodes. Resentment builds. This behavior can also damage our self-image. Subconsciously, we start to view ourselves as incompetent or morally compromised if we're always justifying poor decisions. This toxic shame eats away at our self-worth. In organizations, justification enables corruption and misconduct to spread like cancers. Rules get bent, ethics fade away. As long as explanations are provided, questionable acts get normalized. So in many ways, this tendency comes at a high cost. It holds back personal growth, poisons bonds, and allows unethical behavior to flourish. Simply put, justifying harms individuals, connections, and communities. The good news is, with care and courage, we can overcome this tendency and start owning our shortcomings. It isn't easy, but breaking the justification habit is possible. 
Here are some top tips. First, bring awareness to your biases. Learn about self-serving bias, rationalization, cognitive dissonance, conformity, and groupthink. Knowing why we justify makes us more aware when we're doing it. Next, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Admitting failure stings, but resisting that discomfort is key to taking responsibility. Letting the discomfort pass builds moral courage over time. When you catch yourself making excuses, pause and reflect. Ask yourself, am I just justifying or is this actually a reasonable explanation? Consider the possibility you may be falling into old patterns. Also, proactively apologize and make amends when you mess up. Don't wait to be called out. Taking the initiative to admit fault demonstrates courage and conscience. Finally, cultivate friends and social groups who gently keep you accountable. We all need support in owning our shortcomings rather than papering them over. The right people will help you do the work. Our tendency to justify shortcomings rather than admit mistakes stems from various psychological biases and social pressures. Although natural, justification can negatively impact our lives and communities in serious ways. But self-awareness and moral courage can help us take responsibility. Owning our mistakes may not always feel good in the moment, but growth, meaningful relationships, and a healthy self-image depend on breaking the habit of justification. The capacity to humbly admit shortcomings without excuses is a virtue worth cultivating. I hope this video has provided some useful insight into this complicated facet of human psychology. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.